Blake Berman. Uh, the read on all of this from Florida uh, Republican uh, Congressman Francis Rooney, House Foreign Affairs Committee member as well. Um, sir, very good to have you. So much to talk about. First on this uh, I immigration sort of finding a middle ground here. Is that likely, do you think? Do you think there, there will be reform and will a wall be part of it? What do you think? Well, despite the sanctimoniousness of the Democrats this morning, I think this is a middle ground. We're, we're talking about programs that are blatantly unconstitutional, illegal actions like the sanctuary cities business or the DACA uh, program itself. And so to, to enshrine them in law, to, uh, to turn DACA into a permanent program that's enshrined in law, we better get some serious reform of the visa system, of the border, and, and of our entire concept of immigration. So if they say we'll do all of the above, Congress, and that is Democrats, just not that wall thing, where do you think this is going? Well, there are some areas where a wall would be helpful. You know, uh, there are several hundred miles where there's a, a, a vehicular barrier, but not a pedestrian barrier right. that, would, that would lend themselves to a wall. Um, switching gears, sir, into your area of expertise, among others, this idea that the president is looking to decertify that Iranian deal. You were very early on very keen in doing with a Democratic counterpart a sort of a, a commission uh, or 20-member group that would make it upon themselves to assess these matters and, and, and explore these matters. Uh, this seems to be circumventing that. Uh, what do you make of it? Well, the president has the obligation to do the 90-day certification uh, Right. decision. And so that's separate from what we were talking about. I, I, I jumped onto this idea of a Helsinki type commission because I think we want the most eyes we can get focusing on Iran and their heinous actions. Okay, but by creating such a commission, let's say the well, majority of the commission is of the Mayan, don't interrupt international agreements, however, you know, uh, specious they may appear, uh, would that solve it? Well, it would keep the debate open so the American people can hear all sides see, and not just hear one side. Um, where do you think that is going? It's pretty clear the president will decertify it. Now, obviously, it's not as black and white as that. I understand that he would provide opportunities and venues to sort of address some of these problems that he sees within it. But others fear that by going this route, the U.S. as a country risks not being worth its word, um, that we've kept these sort of things going through Democratic and Republican administrations, and the fear seems to be if this president backs away, then our, our word, our, our, our contracts, our, our, our commitments are not our bond. What do you think mm. of that? No, I don't really agree with that. I, I think this is another one of these Obama Lone Ranger deals that he wanted to do. It's not ratified by the Senate in the proper form for passing and acting treaties and things. And, and he wanted a deal so bad that I think Iran got some things they shouldn't have got, and we have some limits that we should not have on our ability to inspect. What would that mean then, Congressman, uh, as far as the punishment we could mete out if we deem that Iran is not complying? Technically, they might on the nuclear part, but they technically are not by, on the agitation part, you know, and, and stirring up all this trouble, fermenting it with North Korea, et cetera. Well, you're sure right about that. They continue to strengthen their Shiite Hezbollah alliance across Syria and, and the middle part of Iraq to our detriment. And to, and to, and to, against the stability of the Middle East, and they, the ink wasn't dry on that thing when they were launching ballistic missiles. That's almost like a, a sticking it in your face to Obama. Um, I know you're in the House of a prominent member there, but this back and forth the president has had with Senator Bob Corker over who said what, and all that, uh, regardless of who's right and who's telling the truth, do you think it's hurting the chances of getting enough Republican votes on tax reform? No, I think Senator Corker's a lame, lame duck senator now, and he's there's a lot of conjecture bannered about the last couple of days, but at the end of the day, everybody knows that America wants tax reform and that we're at a historic moment to get it. You know, I did a speech on the House floor the other day where I made the point that tax treatment determines capital investment, which determines job formation. All right, sir, thank you very much. Thank you.